Hi, this is Chris Massiello from vitamincm.com, and today I'm going to show you how to set up a mobile application suite on a USB drive. So a USB drive plugged into my computer, it's shown up as the E drive, and I downloaded some software from portableapps.com, and they have tons of different applications. You, they have the suite which you can download, and they have several other applications that are some included in the suite and some additional. So I downloaded all the applications I want to install right now and they're in my downloads folder so I want to start by installing the suite and this would be the first thing that you would download so just double click it it will open up and click run it's a pretty simple wizard that you'll walk through the first thing it will do is make you accept the license agreement and this is all open source software click next to install it so you need to select the USB drive that you have plugged in select my E drive and hit OK once it finishes installing, you can check the Launch Portable Apps platform and click Finish. This will open the Portable Apps Launcher in this bar, so you can see the applications that are installed. If you launch one of them, you can just click. If I wanted to launch, say, the Portable PDF Viewer, I could just click it and it would open up. The Portable Application Suite installed, it's very easy to install other applications, so if I go on my USB drive here. It puts a little folder called documents where I can store documents just like I would on my regular hard drive. And then the portable apps folder which contains all the different applications. When I click on that you'll see all the different applications that are. It's really easy to launch another, to install another application. So I want to install a different PDF reader here. I think it's a little lighter and faster. Just click on the installer, click run, select the language, and it will ask me where I want to install it. So I want to put it in the portable apps folder in its own folder. Finishes, I'll just click finish. Now if I go back to the app launcher, it's there installed right on the toolbar. Uh, every now and then I have to uh, hit the X down in the bottom corner, close it and then relaunch it again. Uh, to launch it you can either unplug and replug the USB drive or if you come out to the root of the USB drive just double click to start portable apps exe and that will do it. Now uninstalling software is about as easy as can be. You just go to the portable apps folder and if you wanted to uninstall that piece of software just click on the folder delete it and it's uninstalled. It's not like your computer, nothing writes to the registry, anything like that. You just uh, delete it right away. Uh, I'm trying to use this as a rescue drive. So if I go to somebody's house that has a computer that needs to get fixed, I have a lot of the applications I need on here to fix it. So let's take a look at what's on here. The applications I have, um, C Cleaner, which is a really excellent application. It will clean junk files. It will uh, fix your browsing history. It'll clean your registry uninstall software, uh, just tons and tons of useful things. There's a Clamwin, which is a very light antivirus program, a music player, Dialfix, another registry editor, um, FileZilla, which is a, an FTP client if you need to use FTP anything, uh, GIMP, which is a graphics editing program. I installed a couple browsers on here, so there's a Chrome Portable, um, CD burning application, uh, disk defragmenting application, password storage, a screenshot tool, the viewer and server on here. So if I want to view somebody else's machine using VNC or if I want to let someone else view this machine, I can start the viewer or the server. Thunderbird, which is an email client. If you want to use that, it's a nice desktop email client. Now it's portable the entire open office suite so it's basically just a clone of microsoft office uh, maybe not quite as good but it will get everything done that you need to pc decrapifier when you uh, get new computers so a lot of times from the big manufacturers they're just loaded with a bunch of trial junk that you really need to get off there this will just take anything right off your computer and make it like a clean windows install a pdf building tool Pigeon IM, this is a multi-client, multi-protocol IM, so you can use AOL, Yahoo, MSN, um, ICQ, Google, you name it. Prodigy, this is nice. 
if you are trying to find the product key from the CD, so let's say you need to just do a clean install of Windows, and you need to get the Windows activation key off the disk before you wipe it out and reinstall it. That way you can activate it. This is pretty nice. Uh, Putty Portable, this is a, an SFTP client, so if you need to SFTP into somebody's machine. Skype, you can do Skype. Uh, Speed Crunch, it's a nice little calculator that has some um, algebra and things in it. A spyware remover, a startup manager, so you can see what things are running at startup and, and deactivate anything that shouldn't be. Sysinternals rootkit revealer, so if there's a rootkit on the machine, you can take it off. Uh, VLC, the probably the best, most uh, flexible video player out there. It'll play any kind of video under the sun. Tutorial recorder, uh, so it's a kind of a poor man's version of software I'm using to record this tutorial right now. Uh, quick and dirty, It'll record your screen video and audio. Uh, an SCP secure connection protocol client, so if you need SCP connection to a machine, this is very secure uh, and it works nice. Wireless key view, if you're having trouble connecting to wireless network, this will show you any uh, network keys that you've used to connect in the past, so maybe you forgot the network key and you're locked out of your router or something, this will help you find any old ones that you've used. And uh, ZAMP, which is a complete web server, so you have a web server, a PHP, a database server. If you wanted to run something like WordPress or anything like that, you could just install it right on there. So a uh, pretty uh, comprehensive collection of tools that will allow you to get some work done and diagnose and fix problems on a Windows.